All right, everyone. Um, so now that we have our custom menu link and we have the marketplace app installed on our GHL agency, uh, the next step is actually just you know connecting a sub account and creating a first bot. Um, so to do this, it's super super simple. So let's go back to our GHL. So I'm, again, I'm uh, going back to app.gohighlevel.com. Right. So we just added that custom menu link. Um, now we can press go back. Okay. And guys, all we're going to do now is literally just switch to a sub account. So whatever sub account we want to set up on, um, we can just go here to this drop down here and we can look up that sub account, right? Okay. And then I clicked on the sub account. So from here, you can see, um, you know, we're brought to our dashboard, but if you look on the left hand side here on this panel, um, we have the roho.ai, you know, that's our main custom menu link, but the one that we just added, right? For the sake of the demo, right? Uh, we're just going to click on this custom menu link. This is the roho custom menu link. And you'll notice that it has this pop-up right here. So it's going to ask them for their name, uh, their business name, and their email, right? So I'm just going to say Charles, Charles, demo, testing123, whatever, at gmail.com, right? And when you press continue, that's actually going to uh, create the sub-account, activate it, and then refresh the page for us here. All right. Um, and now we can actually go ahead and start creating our first bot. So I'm going to pause here. All right, guys. So I'm here on this sub-account, uh, you know, on the custom menu link. And I have a few bots here already, but let's actually just go through creating your first bot. So all we're going to do is just press this create bot button. And you'll notice we actually have a couple different options for how we can create the bot. So the first one, um, you can put, you know, the business name, business type, and the website. And what this is going to do, guys, is actually going to scrape and, uh, you know, crawl that website, download all the content, all the text, and then generate FAQs and a sales script. Um, you know, maybe they don't have a website yet or they don't have a lot of content on there. You can also do the same thing except just paste in all the business information here. It'll create the bot that way. Um, or you could just create it manually and add the FAQs and the script steps yourself. And then this is a very handy feature here. You can actually clone a bot, um, which we'll get into later. But for the sake of this demo, we're actually just going to um, create one from a website, right? So I'm going to do Archer's Detailing. Okay, and then just press create bot. So it takes, you know, around 30 seconds to a minute um, to actually uh, crawl that website, download the data, and get the response from the AI to generate the script and the FAQs. So we'll give it a, you know, a couple seconds here. All right, guys, so you'll see here that we're actually brought to the, uh, the general settings tab. That's the first tab, right? And here we just have a few, um, you know, basic things about our bot. So we have the bot ID, which is important, right? Uh, the bot name. So again, the bot name is actually just, you know, the name of like a real person, right? Um, so you can put Kate, John, Charles, whatever it is, right? Uh, the AI model. So you can choose from 3.5 Turbo, GPT-4, or GPT-4 Preview. Uh, GPT-4 Preview is the, um, you know, the most recent. So I'm going to click on that one. And then we have the business type, the business name. And we also have the subject for outbound emails. Um, so Roho works over SMS, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, the live chat, as well as emails. Um, but in order to send out these emails, we actually have to have a, um, you know, a subject. So I'm just going to, you know, put something there for now. Again, that's optional. If you're, if you're not planning to use it for emails, don't worry about that. Um, but you'll notice here those uh, alerts are now gone from the knowledge in the script because that means the AI just generated it. So let's go to knowledge here first, right? So we have all these FAQs, and you notice they're very conversational, right? So this is basically serves as a knowledge base, or sometimes you could use, uh, you know, this as example messages. And then we have the script as well. Um, so the AI has created our bot for us, but in the next video, we're going to be going over, you know, how to kind of fine-tune the bot and make it do exactly what you want it to do, guys. But, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.